Hey everyone, it's Jenny. Okay, so I bought a kit from Stampin' Up! a long time ago. It was when the new catalog came out um, last summer and I never did anything with the kit. And the reason why I bought it was because it had a lot of gold foiling on it. Um, but I didn't, I never even opened it um, and it just kind of sat there. And then my friend Debbie um, decided to do a class featuring that kit because she was able to get it on clearance so it was like half price or less than half price um, and so since I already had the kit I um, ended up taking her class and we we made almost everything in the kit these are just the leftovers of what um, you can still use um, and the envelopes so it came with like enough to make 12 um, cards and 12 um, packages like those glassine bags and these are like additional things you can use and stencils and stuff like that so um, that and then the this is a brayer that it came with um, so you can work on the project so it came with two rollers so this is what the sponge roller looks like and this is the applicator so we did like two colors. One was like a green and one was a pink. So I just have to wash it off um, from class yesterday. But um, it was actually really fun because you walk out with like a lot of projects done. So I just wanted to share um, the projects that she came up with. So she um, combined the Stampin' Up! product with um, some of the stuff we could get from our local scrapbook store. So let me just kind of show you what we ended up doing. And she did a lot of the stuff for us. Oh, it also came with the, um, what is it called? Baker's Twine. So she tried to incorporate that in the projects. But, um, so, and then it came with like these and these and other goodies. So let me just kind of show you um, what we made. We made 12 of these glassine bags. Get those out of the way for now. So, um, I think we did, I mean, I, kind of didn't follow all of her instructions because um, I think she said to make it all the same color but I changed and I did half green and half pink um, for these and so and even the tags like she told me she she would just do them all in pink and I did some in pink and some in green and I kind of mix and match them so this is actually the pool party. It's hard to see, it looks more green, but I think um, it's supposed to be more of a bluish green. Um, and then it comes with this stencil that you overlay on the bag and then you use that brayer over it just to give it a design. So we did that and then it came with those tags. So we just got the brayer to color it up. So this one I did in the green. And then that flower is a waffle flower set. Um, that she used to coordinate and so I had extra of those I just fussy cut it and I stuck it on the tag and then you can decorate the bag more if you want to it also came with those paper clips so I did that one I did the opposite with um, a pink tag see this one I didn't have any more flowers um, and then we're supposed to put twine but I didn't have time to do that um, this is another tag that we did so it came with the tag she just used a different stamp to fill it so that we could have a variety of tags and bags and then this one like we, she was showing us how to use the stamp layering and so I had stamped out a bunch of those flowers so I added it to the bag same here and then these are just the same as the other ones so I, I can still do a little bit more embellishing um, with what I have you know, I can for my stash, but I just wanted to show you that we did that. And then the other, the last four bags are all the same, but um, she had us do this tag. And then um, it's using that same set of flowers from Waffle Flower, but it has, see that stripe is like a gold foil. And then we added the twine and the paper clip. So we didn't do anything to those bags. So those are all the same. So that's 12 bags that we did which is awesome because they're like ready to go. And then I think we did all 12 cards and they're they're all a little different. There's only a few that are like duplicates. So um, I think 
I don't know. I'm going to just go in any order. Okay, so this one, it came with the diamond um, outside, but not the glitter inside. So she just hand cut that for us. So we just picked two colors. This is a pink. Um, and then we just added in the sentiment and then the the gold um, beads. And then this those stars are gold foil. And then we just added the twine. So we did two cards like that. One in I did one in blue, one in pink. Um, and then this one is a butterfly one. So this one, there was a butterfly stencil. So we used the outside. We put it on and then we um, brayered over it to make the butterfly in color. And then that way when you put the white over it, you can still see color popping through. So this is that same pool party. We added on some eyelash trim and then this flag that says it's your day so I did one in pink and one in pool party and then um, this one oh it's similar where you get the stencil and you brayer over it um, using the ink and then that way the inside of the star would be a different color so that was pink and so you see the gold foil stars again and then um, we added on the puppy, which is a W plus nine. Yeah, that's also W, no, Waffle Flower. I can't remember. <laughs> it's one of those companies that starts with a W. But anyway, um, and we, we actually stamped the dog and the cat that came with the set. So we did two different versions. Um, so I did one in blue and one in pink. And then I think these are my favorite. Um, it came with the wreath, so we just sprayed over that to make it green. And then this is a, I think it's W plus nine, um, bear set. And then um, we just stopped thinking of you. So it looks like he's hanging out of the wreath. So we did two of those and two of the girl. She is, I think, W plus nine too. And she, um, it's actually the donut set where the kids are... Um, in the donuts but has this one girl where she's hanging out so um, and then we put the heart in her hand so I did two of those and then this one was actually supposed to just be the flowers um, so we started by getting the inside stencil because it pops out so you can use the inside and then we brayered around it to give it color and then so the inside is still white but the outside is green or blue and then we put the flower cluster um, but I had the leftover dog because she let us stamp two dogs. So I just stuck him on there and then I did the same thing with the cat So that is all of the projects So it took quite a while to get through all of this because we had to share supplies But I think if I didn't take the class, I would it would still be in the package <laughs> like I still wouldn't um, Have done anything with that kit. So it didn't come with um, the kit didn't come with like the flower stamps or the animals and that's just Debbie's touch to um, utilize the kit better but you could easily add in stuff from your stash to um, dress it up a bit because they're so versatile because the backgrounds that they gave you were all gold foil or plain so there was a lot that you could actually do um, with it and um, I think she did a great job. So now I have a stash of cards that I can, like if I have someone's birthday coming up, then I won't have to scramble. Um, I have something that I can just use and, you know, um, I won't have to like worry about it. But anyway, um, that is my project shares. That was a lot. And it took us uh, maybe about four hours to get through everything. But I think it was worth it because we left with like 24 projects. So um, thanks, Debbie, for letting me sit in on the class. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what I did to just... Um, dress them up a little bit. This is the ones that I did in Debbie's class and um, If you saw I'm gonna try connect the two videos, but it only had that tag and I didn't really embellish it other than that and so um, What I did was I found a bunch of already colored up images that I had um, on my desk so see this is like various die cuts and colored up images and I just kind of picked out some that I thought would match 
um, the color scheme and um, what it says. So um, anyway, I just wanted to share that, you know, you can still add on more embellishments to dress it up. Um, and I'll probably add on like a bow and all of that when I actually use it, but I just thought I'd show you what I did. So this is the Mermaids from Lawn Fawn. Um, I had a bunch of these still colored up, and so I just added it to the tag, added one to the tag, and then um, went down here. And then this one was already a happy birthday one, so then I added on one of the Love Cynthia happy birthday images. Which I really like. She's so cute. I want to buy more because I know they've had a few releases, but I figured I should kind of use the ones that I already have first um, before I go and buy more. I'm trying to be good, but it's really hard. Okay, this one I love. This donut. We actually have a donut um, ring pool for the pool that my daughter got for her birthday the other year. So it kind of reminds me of that, but anyway, I added on birthday there and then this one I showed you I had just used the flowers that were already stamped from the class so I added on this girl because she kind of matched um, the coloring um, even though she's Paris looking but I um, I added it because of the color scheme that it was being used here and this one I just added a little deer I think that's a my favorite things image this is um, Lawn Fawn again. I had some extra fairies. More Love Cynthia. See, she's shopping. I love that. And this one was um, with balloons. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that even though um, it not it wasn't plain, but I think um, I just needed to add in something a little of myself in there, which is more the cutesy kind of images. So I hope you like how I spruced it up and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!